our goal in prophecy is to open the door for people to encounter the presence and the love and the purposes of God. It's for people to see that which God sees, some of which they don't even believe for themselves. That God sees things in each of us that we don't even know are there. Is that exciting to anybody? I mean, that, that there might be something, a, a great call on my life, a great adventure, a great desire that God has for me that I don't know yet. I mean, have you ever felt that way? You know, God, I, I, wish, I wish there was more. Have you ever felt that way about, about your faith or about the Lord? And in, in what I see in prophecy over and over again is that there is more for those of us that want it. For those of us that want it, there is more available. That if you're looking at your life and you're saying, God, is this it? This is boring. There's probably something that has gone unrealized. And prophecy is a way to discover what those things are. Not the only way, it's a way. People who have the Holy Spirit inside of them listen to and hear the voice of God, and they release that which God wants to say to somebody else. Now, I want to first of all say we can all hear from God. We're all supposed to pray, to talk, to read the scripture. So we're supposed to hear from God for ourselves. But sometimes we're asking God for an answer for something, and we don't have the answer. And oftentimes prophecy can be the answer that we're looking for. Because somebody else can hear what maybe what God's trying to say or what God has in mind, but that we haven't been able to hear yet. You know, there's that, there's that old story about the... The flood that's coming. You know, we know that story. The flood's coming, and there's the guy at his house, and the flood comes, and the guy comes along with the car and says, Hop in my car, I'll drive you to safety. Oh, no, no, God's going to take care of me. We know this story. The water comes, the boat comes along. Hop in my boat, I'll drive you to safety. No, no, God's going to take care of me. And the water keeps coming up to get up on the highest part of the roof, and a, and a helicopter comes and drops a rope ladder. Hop on, we'll take you to safety. No, no, God's going to take care of me. And the water comes, and the person drowns. And they go up to heaven and they say, God, what gives? Why did you let me die? And he says, I sent a car, I sent a boat, I sent a helicopter. You just didn't take the hint. Oftentimes, God is saying things to us, but we don't get it. It doesn't mean that we're stupid. It means that we don't get it. And so God gives us different ways to hear his voice. Prophecy, I believe, is one of those ways. If the person giving the prophetic word is full of the Spirit, has been trained, is, is, is someone who is practiced and actively engaging in discerning God's voice in the realm of prophecy. Help us spread the message. Click on the donate button below or go to shermanoakspc.org forward.